Grounded Good Wife Duo. I'm Velia, the history nut and mother. And I'm Paris, the herbalist. And we're joined today by Mrs. Nugent and Mrs. Bailey. So those of you that know us, you know we've kept chickens for at least 25 years. Originally, we got chickens to eat the ticks so we wouldn't get Lyme disease. But another benefit of having chickens is having the truly free-range eggs. So hens need at least 12 hours of daylight per day to lay eggs. So now the days are getting shorter, our gals have stopped laying. So an option is to add lighting to your coop, but whether or not to light your coop is kind of a hot topic of debate among chicken keepers because adding light will help your egg production, well, their egg production, it's not gonna help my egg production, help theirs, but there are negative repercussions to artificial lighting. So lighting your coop makes hens continue their egg laying cycle when their bodies are really meant to like have a rest and take a break because it is it does take a lot out of their bodies to lay eggs every day. Mm -hmm. So we think that lighting the coop is kind of bad for their health and can cause some issues with them. Right. So this is the time of year when even we have to buy eggs and we're very, very picky about where we buy them. We see people standing in front of that egg section at Stop and Shop feeling totally confused. So we thought we'd clarify some things. 95% of eggs in the United States come from chickens raised in something called battery cages. So as many as 100,000 birds can be confined in one warehouse where they have 67 square inches of space. And to put that in perspective, that's about the size of a laptop. So they don't even have enough room to spread their wings. And that's where these poor birds spend their entire life. So one option are brown eggs, and we've been kind of trained to believe that brown food is healthier than white food, like with brown rice and with whole grain bread. So a lot of people believe that brown eggs must be healthier too, but that's really not the case because eggs come in a bunch of colors. Some of them even come in like a green or a blue. So really brown doesn't make a difference at all. So then there's the vegetarian option when it comes to eggs. So vegetarian birds are force fed an unnatural diet that's bad for their health. And chickens are the furthest thing from vegetarians. And that advertising is ridiculous. It's like going to the zoo and asking to see the vegetarian tiger. So another option are pasture raised eggs. And usually this means what you would think it means, like chickens with plenty of time to play outdoors. But this isn't really regulated by the FDA at all. And also a lot of the farms that are pasture raised, they still engage in beak cutting for their chickens. Should we act that out? Beak cutting? Ready? Another option are free range eggs. So in theory, free range should mean chickens kind of like freely roaming around a field. But the USDA just mandates that free range chickens have access to the outdoors. And that access can just be like a few pretty small doors that lead to like a screened in porch or just a little patch of cement or kind of like dried up dead grass. And then there are cage free eggs, which are not what they're cracked up to be. Um, I think consumers have a vision that these chickens are out on these bucolic pastures doing all these glorious chicken things. But that's not true because instead of cages, these chickens are packed by the thousands into multi-level aviaries and they never get to see the daylight ever. They never go outside. But it is really worth it to try and find truly free range eggs or truly pasture raised eggs because there is a difference in the nutritional benefit. So they have a third less cholesterol, a quarter less saturated fat, two thirds more vitamin A, three times as many omega-3 fatty acids, three times as much vitamin E, and seven times as much beta carotene. So we're gonna to go to the farm this afternoon where we buy raw milk and they sell truly free range eggs there. So we're gonna pick up a couple, couple cartons there. Well, our gals are getting the rest. Right, exactly. So stay, stay grounded. Bye-bye.